What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today is Thursday. It is the 12th of March, 2020. And what are we doing today? Well, we are at one of my most favoritest places ever, the Auto Spa, the Auto Spa LLC. And of course, we brought the 2016 Tesla P90D. Why? Because Brian said, man, you gotta get that thing down here ASAP. Let's find out if it's ceramic coated. Let's see what it needs as far as paint correction and stuff is concerned. And I left the car pretty dirty for him. Now, if any of you are in the Oklahoma City area and you're interested, here's his information. Be sure to give him a shout. Tell him Randy from Auto Auction Rebuild sent you. Here, here's the Tesla, okay? It's filthy. We just got back from a 700 mile road trip, actually a little over 700 miles, and it's absolutely disgusting. Hopefully he's not mad at me because I, I probably could have at least cleaned the bugs. But look at this, guys. I mean, she's dirty. <laughs> she's she's extremely, extremely dirty. Let's see if I can get out in the street here without getting myself run over. It's not just dirty with bugs, but it's also got, I don't know how this happened, but there's a there's soda pop spilt on it. I like I said, I have no idea how that happened. The, the back is just, look at this, it's covered in dirt, you know what I mean? And I know a lot of you are cringing that I'm just wiping this dirt right into the paint right here. Look at that, absolutely filthy car. And we gotta get her cleaned up. So without further ado, let's go talk to Brian, see what he says he can do for us on the Tesla P90D. Oh, look at these cars. Oh, -hoo. all right, all right. Got a 750 over here. As much as I wanted to go inside, I just I couldn't go inside without taking a look at all the BMWs he's got sitting out here. Man, this this dude loves his Beamers. Look over here. There we go. He loves his cars, man. Beamer 318 Ti Beamer. Oh, look at this. That is sharp right there. I like that color. That is really cool. Beamer. Man, look at that. Look at that. Another Beamer. His favorite truck is old Datsun, man. He loves this old thing. There, there's his Datsun right there. <laughs> I've seen this out on the street, so I know it, just, it doesn't just sit here. All right, that's enough of that. Let's go inside and talk to Brian. So here he's got a 66 Jaguar. In here this is a v12 which i was shocked it's right hand drive i believe it's a 3.8 liter stick shift right hand drive look at this three here it says right here jaguar 3.8 s isn't this thing gorgeous you never know what you're going to find when you when you come up over here man he's always got crazy cool cars in here but don't come bother him to just, just to check out these crazy cool cars you know only come here if you're going to pay him to do something to your car he'll get he'll get upset if you come over here and wasting his time but look i mean he's got so many wonderful cars out he got a porsche over here beautiful car we got a yukon xl you got a bmw 7 like 750i sitting over there there's always great cars over here man these guys do a wonderful job and look at that, I couldn't, how can I not show this beautiful Camaro? All original condition, man. Look how gorgeous this thing is. I absolutely love this car. Beautiful. Got a Jeep Rubicon Unlimited over here. Man, that's a beautiful Camaro. So we lied to you. It is not a V12. It is a 3.8 liter. It's a straight six. And how cool is it to see a muffler sitting on top of an engine? So apparently the engineering idea back in the day was you put the muffler on top. The muffler sucks in the hot air from the exhaust manifold and then charges the intake with it. Anybody knows your car is please. This says AC Delco. That says AC Delco on it from GM. On the muffler? Or the intake? <laughs> Surely not. I'm probably just... I'm probably confused. If you know anything about this car, please comment on it because I'm really confused why we have a snorkel sitting at the exhaust manifold sucking hot air into the intake manifold over here and, and why it's metal so that it gets nice and heat soaked. It's like they did everything possible to get as much heat into the intake as possible.
And just like that, almost like magic, it's back home. And <laughs> I, 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 I'm always surprised when I get my cars back from the auto spa. And you guys need to understand, there is no, uh, this is no advertising type deal. There's no sponsorship with the auto spa, nothing like this. This is another instance where I receive excellent service. I mean, not good service, excellent service every time. And it's worth every single dollar. You cannot put a price on good quality service. They take this so seriously. Like this is their passion. It's not just their job. I think that's that's what really differentiates them from a lot of the big chain type places. The big chain places are really about uh, quantity. They move as many cars in and out as possible. The more they move, the more they make. Whereas the auto spa is more about quality over quantity. They want to make sure they provide an excellent service and that every customer walks away satisfied. This car, <laughs> honestly, it probably looks better than it did when it rolled off the showroom floor. That's generally my experience with the Auto Spot LLC. Uh, the Corvette, when we took it in there, it was brand new and had so many defects in the paint. It literally came out looking better than it did the day I got it off the showroom floor. They did the whole car, interior as well, Oh, you don't want to... Are you not going to listen to me? Oh, I'm not in proximity. Probably got to be by the front doors. There we go. There we go. Take a look at this. They did the interior too. Give the camera just a second to adjust to the lighting. But I mean, look at this. They made this car... And the car already looked good, right? But they made this car look excellent. I mean, just phenomenal. Now, ignore my fiance's makeup. She likes to. She touches her face and then rubs the door on her way out. So she got a little bit of, a little bit of her makeup on there. But there, ah, just want to make sure if you guys saw that on video, you didn't blame the auto spot for it. That wasn't them. That happened on the trip home. Absolutely phenomenal job, guys. So go follow them, the Auto Spot LLC on Instagram. Please go check them out. Leave a comment on one of their photos. They get some awesome epic cars in there, guys. So definitely subscribe to them. Follow them on Instagram. They also have a Facebook page. And wouldn't you know it, it's called The Auto Spa LLC. Okay, so follow them on Facebook. And last but not least, let me tell you something. This, this company has a pretty phenomenal YouTube channel that is way underrated. And I gotta say one more time, this is not sponsored content. I was not given a discount. I was not paid for saying this. I, their YouTube channel blows me away and they have almost no subscribers. And it, it blows my mind. The editing is so good. So I want you guys to take a moment, go check them out on YouTube as well. Detail OKC, all right, that is them right there. They have got some amazing content on that channel, man. Like, for real, their editing, I, I could only dream of being able to edit this good, guys. The angles, the slow-mo, the transitions, the transitions, the transitions, look at that. All right, that's all I'm going to give you on that. Go check them out, please. That's just my personal reference right there, man. I'm giving you my honest opinion on it. We're going to have to see what the Marauder looks like when it comes out. Unfortunately, the Marauder cannot be ceramic coated because the paint still has to breathe. It's a fresh paint job on the Marauder. It's got to breathe, but they are doing a full interior detail leather treatment on it as well. And then truthfully, guys, I know so many of you are going to be mad at me, but I'm probably going to go ahead and sell the Marauder. I think I'm going to list it up for uh, 10 grand on Facebook Marketplace and just get rid of it. We got a lot of things going on. We're about to move. I definitely don't need all the cars that I currently have. So we'll see what the Marauder looks like when it comes back from the Auto Spa LLC. And with that, before we go, I wanna say I hope all of you are happy and healthy. I know these times are freaking crazy, man. Like it, it, it's almost like a different world we're living in right now. And 
it's a little bit scary, but I'm doing the best that I can to bring you guys content to make sure at least you got some entertainment for the day. I know there's a lot of other YouTubers out there, a lot of bigger channels that have much better quality content, better vehicles. And, you know, I appreciate all of you actually taking the time to come over to my little channel and watch me and what I'm doing over here. So thank you guys so much for allowing me to continue doing what I do to support my family. And all I can say is I hope all of you are doing well. I hope you're all happy. I hope you're all healthy. And we'll get through this together. If you enjoyed this content, give the video a big thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Tell me what you think of the Tesla and the work the AutoSpot LLC did on it. And I guess we're going to get out of here, folks. I hope you all stay safe out there. Until next time, everybody, I will catch you all very soon in the next one. Almost.